family, household, domestic group. So generally in the sense of uh, common man or people they use interchangeably but there is somewhat difference for that purpose I gave it. So families without marriage and modal changes in the family as point of view structures and functions. So more than evolution of family based on marriage and criticism. So this question came in 2021 for uh, I think long answer question. So universal definition of family and their shortcomings. So impact of urbanization and uh, uh, feminist movements on family. So now we will enter. So uh, uh, why, why, did, uh, why didn't you write this question? Uh, family, household and domestic group? Sir, one thing I didn't have a uh, relevant backup for it. Uh, second thing, I didn't want it to be around the book as we said last time. Uh, it gives a bad impression for the evaluators. So this time I thought of writing only those questions in which uh, I have data and I have worked with them. Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, why did I give this question means sometimes he is giving this kind of questions for short answers. So there is a little bit minor variations. So for a family you can take Murdoch definition and Murdoch functions. Okay. So household, household is nothing but uh, it is a uh, kind of uh, group where all functions of family performed except uh, this sexual functions. Okay. Like uh, all the students sharing a room for preparing particular exam or studying abroad. So there economic sharing is there. Okay, our socialization present whenever juniors are came into that room, the seniors train them in various activities. So inheritance, whenever one person leaving that, is the items were be given to the uh, next coming people. So all the functions except sexual function. So here all the family members might be relatives by blood and marriage, but here there is no uh, such relationship between uh, these members. That kind of groups are generally referred as a household. Uh, which were studied by heavy land so heavy land very famous anthropologist uh, renowned anthropologist worldwide so domestic groups are nothing but it is the uh, family uh, family uh, we can take giant or extended families giant and extended families so it is the part of a family birth and uh, uh, birth and dissolution in between that it occurs it was studied by mayor forts so the phase of uh, you know expansion the phase of dissolution phase of replacement so these three are there so here you can see that phase of expansion expansion means an individual by marrying the phase of expansion of the family starts so starting through marriage and ends this phase uh, after the birth of last child. This is called phase of expansion of the domestic group. Second uh, phase of expansion of family. Next phase of uh, dissolution. So dissolution is nothing but, so here it starts with marriage of the eldest son and ends with marriage of the last child. And next one is phase, uh, phase of replacement the family plays a phase of replacement here so all the uh, all the brothers who got married they leave the family and the last child along with their parents so last child along with their parents they will reside here after death of the parents he will start his own uh, phase of family expansion of the family so this is the way uh, domestic group means this is the stage we called as a domestic group from this stage to this stage. So here all the members are present inside the group. Uh, not only that, some non-family members also possibility. Non-family maids also part of the domestic group. Some uh, widow, uh, one of the sister after marrying, she came back into the home as a, as a like a widow. So this is the way orphans, widow or maids, everybody part of this domestic group. It, it has the uh, expansion, dissolution as well as replacement. So here every member, why do the members stay inside the domestic group means they require a property, they require a uh, spouse, 
so without having the parents nobody give their uh, daughter to that person that is the reason before marriage mandatory everybody should present inside the domestic uh, house 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 uh, or family for that purpose it is called as a property and spouse purpose so these three things we have to remember at least we should have some awareness if it comes as a 10 marker we will get confusion a small concept by dedicating uh, 10 to 15 minutes we can get a, a, a complete knowledge so don't take it as a uh, neglected because it seems like a small concept and a easier concept UPSC never concentrate on that but uh, sometimes he will focus on these small small issues so families without marriage so generally everybody thought that marriage is universal so marriage is universal but uh, so some anthropologists just like me they don't uh, accept this kind of thing because we believe that marriage is near universal but not universal so there is one society called na society in china na society in china in their society they have households households so in their society in their language there is no equivalent term of husband father and marriage in every language these terms are there equivalent terms but in their language there is no husband term father term marriage term but they have families in the form of households so can a society exist can a society continue survive without having marriage means yes there is a society called na society studied by uh, many number of anthropologists even heavy land also so to integrate this version in universal definition of family i gave this question we must have certain kind of knowledge when the per, uh, when the examiner understood that we are hitting that uh, you know that point uh, that point where it is not universal near universal he understood that the range of knowledge we have so for that purpose i gave it it is present in our anthropedia can we take any examples from modern societies can we consider uh, live in uh, live in relationship as a family without having marriage yes sir fantastic hmm yes sir. can we consider it yes sir yes sir i am audible sir hmm am i audible sir uh, you are audible Oh, it's fine uh, but what i am thinking is uh, so supreme court of india it brought the uh, scope of uh, you know live in relationship under the domestic violence act so the domestic violence act means it covers mostly families uh, families which formed through marriages so i am not sure how much it is right placing live in relationships under families uh, live in relationship under families so without having marriage but anyhow if this kind of question exists in the exam or wherever this dimension to be uh, uh, written in the exam you can include it not it has some kind of similar features the families are formed without having the marriage also but here uh, my intention is uh, its universality a society completely living without marriage okay so every society having marriage is universal if a one of the, one society is exception for that statement we can say it is a uh, near universal but not universal so it is the deviations are uh, only certain percent of uh, individuals practice it live in relationship but not the entire society so modern changes in the family structure and uh, functions so according to structuralism school structures are nothing but the parts inside the institution parts inside the institutions the family parts are generally members so members when we are talking about changes uh, in the members inside a family that is the structural change and so the functions the traditional functions generally we will assume that 
జాయింట్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ ముర్డాక్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఫంక్షన్స్ సో ముర్డాక్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆర్ యూనో మెంబర్షిప్ వైజ్ so we will see william stephens defend family as a group with common residence economic cooperation so parental and sexual rights okay so common residence economic cooperation parental sexual rights okay mm, family means it's not you don't need to stop here you can take the definition which including so the children either owned or adopted so who gave this definition so, so murdak i think hmm? no murdak only so that's the reason i always advise take the murdak definition a family means we have to cover parental generation child generation also so parental and uh, sexual rights okay socially approved sexual rights between at least two uh, opposite sex inside a uh, family that is called uh, you know uh, that that we have to put it major functions so murdak he specifically emphasized the kind of family is nothing but nuclear family so nuclear family here the parents both gender should be there and monopoly over the uh, sexual relationship between husband and wife monopoly sexual relationship lo monopoly undali there should not other person uh, participated in between them and children must be uh, produced through that legitimized uh, sexual union so these are all the uh, economic union formation of nuclear family by both husband and uh, wife this is the nuclear family functions any deviations from these functions we have to take as a modern changes the structurally also if both sexes are not there that is structural variation if children are not present inside the family so the couple uh, went to marriage for not producing the children but formation of family only that kind of variety also we can take as a structural changes so we will see one by one sexual needs reproduction marriage economic cooperation socialization child rearing okay so uh, you don't need to uh, write here feminist movements okay uh, feminist movements okay urbanization and migrations uh, what is called education Uh, okay industrialization globalization these are all the factors contributed for change in the family structurally functionally okay so changes in the family structure so loosened kinship bonds so we don't go for the kinship uh, you know kinship we don't require within the uh, four walls that only we have to take so this is the ideal family according to murda so nuclear family so these membership only we have to talk it going kinship means it is a different kind of uh, answer okay so emergence of uh, nuclear families okay emergence of nuclear families that is fine okay uh, patrilineal family matrilineal family childless families neo local families okay so rise in the uh, affair extra marital affairs okay so change in the uh, closeness and uh, interdependency uh, in the relationships so sunday parenting changing the family bonds okay changes in family functions so here if it is structure means uh, structure means both gender should be present so the deviation is emergence of homosexual families homosexual families so lesbian and that one so next one uh, emergence of single mother families or single uh, parental families that is called matrifocal families uh, or a single wedded fam uh, single parental family because of high divorce rate okay so some families are there so they have sing uh, unwed mother without having husband so through any male she will get pregnancy that is called unwed mothers here the husband role father role is absent that is structural so jamaica uh, jamaica especially caribbean islands these type of uh, matrifocal families are nearly 40% families so 40% families there is no husband and uh, father only mother and their children matrifocal families unwed mothers 
So next one, live in relationship, we can write it structural definition, live in relationship. So it is no permanency here, only temporary union. So next one, we can write blended families. If two or more mothers are uh, divorced, so they uh, both join together and play as a wife and husband role to take care of their children. That is called blended families and uh, surrogacy families. The children are getting without involving the sexual reproduction, surrogacy families. So these are all the structural changes or else deviations for Murdoch definition. So structural changes. Mm, okay, right, uh, functional relation change in the, okay. So economic independency, okay, increasing high diverse rate, uh, okay, uh, gender roles becoming a thing in the past gender roles are okay thing in the past household uh, husbands are in a on your eyes household husbands are in your eyes okay so what is called uh, promission uh, provision uh, provision of very transparent discussion about so suscept uh, susceptible subject okay like body changes during the adolescent and etc yes uh, apart from these changes, there is a, uh, a, de a derived opinion uh, about the feasibility about these changes. Socialist uh, Lawrence argues that family as a unit is in the way of uh, no, ext uh, extinct, extinct. Okay. So, despite these changes of opinion, it is sake, uh, sake of assume that the family though maybe change is uh, structure and function but it will be present in one of the form of the other okay so fine uh, functions means uh, economic cooperation is losing everybody is earning earlier uh, earlier families the perfect division of labor is there men has certain tasks women has uh, certain tasks but here both may be doing the same kind of work or else or both are earning so there there might be no division of labor exists among them so earlier families means the sexuality monopoly over husband or, or, or wife but here before marriage uh, affairs after marriage affairs the, those are all increasing in rise so permanency is the function of permanency is the one of the character of marriage but nowadays the permanency loosening and uh, di high diverse rate increasing so high diverse rate so reproduction is the one of the major uh, function of the family uh, through that society continue to exist but uh, nowadays uh, the families are, are least pre giving least priority for the producing the children this is the way you can write control over the husband or wife uh, you know, lack of children inside the families so this is the way uh, uh, you know, it's a fragile family that is uh, you know highly uh, diverse families are increasing this is the way you can write functional changes uh, religious come uh, uniform earlier both uh, belongs to the same culture but nowadays different culture people getting married there is no conformity of the religious functions also so those things you can write functionally separate I think is it appears to you? Yes, sir. It's okay, okay, some okay, some okay. Uh, what about this one? This question also came into uh, this question came into exam this year, right? Morgan evolution of families based on the marriage and the criticisms. So, uh, did you know about this question? Uh, yes, sir. The chart is there given by Morgan. Uh, yeah. So, if you know this question, that is fine. So, uh, there is no need of discussion, right? No yes, yeah, very simple promiscuity, uh, consanguineous families, after that Punulovan families, Sindhyasmin family, patriarchal family and finally monogamous family. So criticisms was given by Western Mark. He said that monogamy existed among the primates means, so humans are also primate. Then why can't they monogamy since the beginning of humans? This kind of criticism. And they said that the marriage and family itself started by male jealous over the property thereby the marriage and family both might be existed during the starting uh, starting the time of emergence of private property so before on that 
uh, western mark not agreed that uh, the emergence of uh, marriages and families May, might be private property uh, led to the evolution of families and marriages before on that humans never practiced any kind of uh, families and marriages this was the argument made by the western mark so universal definition of the family and shortcomings uh, here uh, actually for this question you have to take two versions so universal definition of family in the sense it's not the definition actually it is the type of family that is universal we have many types in, uh, in uh, families so for suppose is it monogamous family that existed uh, universally monogamous family or nuclear family or else uh, there is a consanguineous family so consanguineous family consanguineous family means uh, it's like giant family we can assume giant family so which one is universal in nature is it nuclear family or consanguineous family so Ralph Linton after uh, studying that he stated that so consanguineous families were universal in nature so this view supported by Ralph Linton he said that so the nuclear family itself providing the uh, the nuclear family members uh, it starts birth uh, by marrying of two individuals these two individuals were supplied by two different consanguineous groups thereby consanguineous group uh, which is having the uh, consanguineous family is a largest family inside that uh, there exist a nuclear families that means the birth of the nuclear family is, uh, is it is uh, given by the consanguineous family we can take consanguineous family is universal in nature for suppose two individuals are uh, getting marriage so these marriages are these individual is a part of a consanguineous family so this individual is the part of a consanguineous family might be they have separate residence three brothers are there three brothers might have separate residences so they have separate property they divided property and they, they have but their kinship bonds never terminate okay thereby consanguinity is always present till the death of an individual so this nuclear families never be a topic consanguinous larger family might be the universal in nature the nuclear family itself found from the consanguinous family we can take consanguinous families forever so he, he agreed that one but after seeing the so many societies Murdoch argued that uh, uh, no, uh, polygynous families are there polygynous families or nuclear families and giant families so he presumed that so all the varieties polygyny means a male with uh, multiple females so when this person is residing with this girl uh, with, uh, this wife they have separate house and this uh, this wife children so thereby this is one nuclear family so this constitute another nuclear family this constitute another nuclear family the giant families all brothers have separate uh, room and separate wife separate children it is the uh, embedded combination of nuclear families so there is a separate nuclear families formation of their uh, wife and husband after getting their marriage so that is neo local residence so all these three varieties the basic unit is nothing but nuclear family he said that nuclear family itself is the universal in nature but however there are criticisms so i think you wrote all this from starting from murda so in this book social structure he tried to give the definition of family okay family is a social group characterized by the common residence economic illegal sexual uh, cohabitation both sexes but one of them at least one or more yes this is the good definition for family however these aspects were uh, supplemented by other factors okay so universality why you are going to this kind of thing kathleen guff kathleen guff in his traditional kinship society of nair uh, nair in kerala she criticized that okay so you can write exceptions for this okay nairs are exceptions not exclusive William Stephens, okay, this is also exception. So William Stephens, he identified four shortcomings, one after other, four shortcomings. The societies without, without having the, uh, no, cohabitation. 
nayars nayars are the best examples next no economic organize no economic uh, labor sharing division of labor 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 sharing that is keyboards so nayars and third one uh, sexual relationships sexual relationship nayars are best example or uh, no cohabitation you can take ashanti of ghana also they follow dio local residency dio local residency means wife stays with their parents husband stays with their parents because they married inside the same village wife visit the husband during the night time only but remaining time they are belongs to their own own parents uh, family this is dio local residencies there are so many varieties they are exception for the uh, nuclear family which was proposed by the uh, murda uh, and he cited that that is universal though so many exceptions are there but thereby they conclude that nuclear family itself is not a universal so many uh, variations are there so that is the way we have to put it a debate okay uh, so economic cooperation can be held in the criteria of its changing with friends like globalization societies like ghana ashanti gives more importance to the importance to the maternal uncle than the biological father so why maternal uncle why can't biological father the reason was hmm. so here this is the group brothers and sisters they live together here brothers and sisters are live together so in this male in this female they may got married but they stay in their own groups only who will socialize the uh, that a child born to that woman means that the brothers present inside that family so the child receive property uh, belongs to this group that is the reason whatever the property earned by the uh, maternal uncle that is automatically passes to the children born to their sisters dio local residents okay Catherine okay, argues that uh, what universal is the mother child bond. Okay. Moreover, Radcliffe argued that instead of debating around what is universal, it is the better to focus on the small but important basic units of family. Family and kinship. Okay. Impact of urbanization and feminist movements on family. Uh, okay, William Stephen's definition. However, this is, uh, structure is getting impacted due to factors like okay, impact of urbanization. So Abraham is the process of migration towards the urban clusters and getting settled there. It has impact changing uh, eating uh, lifestyles, including the food habits, processed food style. Okay emergence of nuclear families among the and uh, with the neo local residency okay kinship bonds are getting weakened rising communication gap between the parents and leading to the sunday parenting so urbanization is result of rising flow or uh, rising the close of leaving uh, towards the both spouses or leading to the okay not arguing the children mm -hmm. so good. impact of feminist movements so you have to write social uh, the training and education the training and education training and education mate selection okay so uh, solidarity or solidarity or we can say that hospitality or something so training and education in rural villages the family all members do the same kind of activity so the father trains the child in the early years thereby he will get the same occupation of the father but in urban societies the child has different aspirations that may not be suitable for the father if father is a different occupation he wants to be a different uh, occupation there he has to move out of the family he will seek the uh, training out of the family that means production moved out of the family training moved out of the family socialization also multiple agencies are involved in the socialization rather than kinship bonds so like critches and so many other things schools colleges so uh, you know uh, sports club so many are there for uh, you know socialization 
and training is moved out of the families. So made selection while they are getting their own uh, earnings through the job. So they are choosing their own mate. But earlier the mate is always chosen by the parents for their children. So this is the way so many functional variations are occurred within the family. So the, those things we have tried. Uh, the relationship between husband and wife, the relationship between parents and the children. So uh, not only the remaining functions, uh, reproductive functions also we conduct. Reproduction became uh, very less because if the both and husband and wife are, they are doing alternate shifts. So impact of feminist movement. Feminist movements are based on the demand of equal political, uh, political rights, economic rights. So independent decision making. Okay. So types of radical. Okay liberal mm -hmm. okay uh, negative impact rise the tension between spouses childless marriages increased uh, instances of extramarital affairs ignorance in the child rearing okay so why do we want to write these negatives is it really negatives because of feminism uh, liberal feminism it's not feminism never caused these kind of negatives so you can glorify that feminist movements are made so many contributions it changed the attitude of society uh, do, uh, no, uh, that equally treat sons and daughters so nowadays the parents are giving equal treatment for the sons and daughter while it may be cloths while it may be education while dressing or food and etc so in earlier days, always the son get priority, daughter never get any priority, even her health also neglected, son health is always uh, care for them. So this kind of attitudinal change. So daughters or sisters or uh, wives allowed to work outside the family, thereby they can support the family. So earlier they never allow uh, daughters, sisters or wives to go out of the home without having the male accompany. So these kind of attitudinal changes. So con these feminist movements con uh, convinced that so woman is doing so much of household work, the husband should participate in the household work also. So this is the way they changed the societal attitude on the gender discrimination. These positive things we have to glorify as part of uh, you know liberal uh, feminism. We don't uh, see these are all the result of uh, feminism. Feminism is always positive impact that, that only you have to glorify. Increased independence, especially economic independence. Okay. Ability to take stand. So, Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. So, more focused and opinion based demands. Okay. So, providing better and uh, sex boosting moral education to the next generation. As per Lawrence, this family uh, crumbling, it is the virgin of de getting destroyed. So this is the time where opinions which develop positive changes. So you can take it, okay, you can take it from our website. So feminism changed so many attitudes that, per, uh, that persisted since traditional time. The modern time, women without going the outside work, the family cannot sustain. They convinced the husbands, the wife should go outside for work purpose. So then only uh, they both can take care of the family. They convinced a uh, woman should get education. So you can take all the reforms, widow marriages, everything, uh, the equal, equal paper, equal work. Okay. So uh, sexual exploitation in the working places. So these are all the things we have to matter. How these feminist movements changed the relationship inside the family and outside the family also. So the attitudinal changes you should give more priority. So these are all looks like a very general one. Uh, you can take. So most important important thing. So who did work on the changes in family? Changes in family. Many persons. So they did work world over. So many research is done on the changes of family from traditional to modern. So I give two names, Goody, uh, Tambaya, these are all the peoples, they worked. Not only this, nearly 6 to 7% names are there. You can get it from our Anthropedia. 
so while you are uh, whenever you are putting here this person name so you will get authenticity it's not your opinion their opinion it is the matter so uh, if we have time you can take it the points from our website uh, because uh, you don't understand what is what do you mean by feminism so why did feminism originated do you have an idea so when and how it is originated so feminism actually they want political rights economic rights political rights means what in the sense voting rights so actually when the time of industrial revolution so the first kind of uh, uh, you know that kind of industries were textile based industries are more in number textile based industries and followed uh, later uh, heavy machinery industries also uh, later time that emerge these textile based industries well suited for the women folk so before industrial revolution the main mode of subsistence is depending on the agriculture activities so when industrialization started women got alternate avenues for their survival so they joined heavily as a workforce inside this uh, textile cotton mills so thereby they achieved economic independence so the decisions inside the family rapidly changing so because women is earning she is uh, she was raised the voice in the european families so now all the males or husbands or fathers they understood that their traditional kind of authority it is going to be demolished if this is continues then they started influencing the uh, representatives at that time only voting rights present for the male members so if certain positions were not given for the male in this uh, industries they won't vote for the uh, representatives political parties this is the way they used political rights to control over the female employment so gradually males started getting the employment in this factories males started better positions males demanded less wages to be paid for the women and some women were uh, ridiculously thrown out of the factories this is the way once they got the independence uh, economic independence they are not listening so that situation they started reversing so it it, it occurred nearly 50 years so 50 to 70 years the woman once she got the freedom economically now again subjugated males by using all clout so this sub subjugation leads to the women realization so if it is going to be occur again their uh, their kind of situation uh, repeat like a medieval life so women started form into organization demanding for political rights if they have voting rights they can also threaten or they can also uh, make demands in front of the political parties they started for voting rights they st once they got the voting rights they started for economic opportunities equal pay for equal work higher position for the women so this is the way that uh, feminism got developed that is the background of the feminist movements so these success of feminist movements uh, like entered into the all other parts of the world from europe so th this is the story from that how they changed the attitude of the traditional mindset of a uh, men into modern men that that we have to focus it rather than writing the negatives the feminism uh, impact on the family is always positive so while comparing the traditional society uh, family into modern family they contributed immensely uh, growth of the families so this is the point you have to write uh, okay i think these are all the question so i i remember i told you to study universal definition of marriages right uh, did you do that yes sir i have done it and i am also adding to uh, stuff yeah yeah right? because you must be you know uh, balance this uh, optional as well as gs so uh, i found that if i could have so much of time i can correct you but the time is very less so as po as possible as you can follow up anthropedia because 20 mark hmm? yes, also, okay so this is enough you can write a next chapter i think kinship right yes sir good one okay okay brother we will meet next time okay good night sir